Hello. Today this is a video to show you how to prepare to make a Mind the Gap braid. We're going to make a ditz, which is the cardboard thing that you hold when you pull the yarn through in order to make that beautiful braid. You'll see that in a different video. So it's called Mind the Gap braiding. I don't, well, because you mind the gap, but it's a variation on the Japanese technique of kumihimo. And I hope I've pronounced that right. You'll need um, a piece of cardboard. This is just the flap from an Amazon box. Works totally fine. You can also buy things on um, anywhere, craft stores, made out of um, something like craft foam. But this works just fine. And it's replaceable easily. So I have this um, round thing here. It could be a lid or anything like that. This is about three and a half inches in diameter. I'm going to draw around it. And anything we do is not does not have to be completely exact. And I'm going to cut around that now. I have these big long scissors, they're called wallpaper scissors in England, and they have a nice, um, nice long blade and a good leverage. So I'm just gonna cut around the circle. I used to make octagons, but it turns out circles, of course, are much easier to do evenly. And it, again, it doesn't have to be even, it just has to, be reasonable, reasonably pleasing to look at, I think, and not too messy. Get rid of those spare pieces here. Now, all we have to do is cut eight slots, eight slots. And I'm just going to go uh, kind of north and south. So here's one at the north. Here's one from the south. I'm going to do the other sides. And then I'm going to cut in between these to make eight roughly evenly spaced slots. Okay, I'm avoiding the center because we're going to put a hole in the center. There we go. Now, a lot of trial and error led me to using a screwdriver to make a hole. And a Phillips screwdriver works best. We're going to make some kind of a rough hole roughly in the center. Hold it so that your fingers don't get in the way. Don't go into your fingers but go through, I'm eyeballing a little bit. I think sometimes it's a little harder than other times. It doesn't matter if this bends because it's going to bend when you're going to use it anyway. So there we go. I might want that hole to be a little bit bigger so I could use a end knitting needle or half a pair of scissors, you know, the part of the blade and just make it a bit bigger by pushing something else through it like that. There you go. And this is something that probably an adult would need to do, but a child could, depending on the age. So now I have this nice ditz ready to go. You'll see how to use it in the next video. But a couple of quick tips. Um, you'll need seven pieces of yarn or embroidery thread. Uh, not too fine, not super thick, but really any thickness works. A relatively even um, choice of thicknesses is great. A lot of children like to do seven colours of the rainbow. It's also really nice if you do six of one colour, say a dark blue, and uh, one of a light yellow or white. It looks kind of like stars in a dark night. Um, it also can look really beautiful if you use um, this uh, pearl cotton. And this is much finer, of course, than the thicker yarn you might want to start with. But I've just chosen seven pieces. And I'm going to tie them in a simple knot right here. Just a simple overhand knot like that. I'm going to push this knot from the top. Doesn't matter which side really, but this looks more beautiful than that. I'm going to push this down from the top. And I'm going to put one of these threads in each of these slots. And again, for more, and you'll see me using thicker yarn on the other video. But for more, just watch the other video on my YouTube, on my YouTube channel, Elizabeth Seward Author. So again, my YouTube channel is Elizabeth Seward Author. It turns out there are quite a few Elizabeth Sewards in the world. And you'll see some other videos there too about knitting and casting on, casting off, making a simple bunny. I'm going to add some more things, I think, too in terms of simple projects to do. So this is a little squirrely, right? A little wiggly, it's not super even. 
but you can just adjust that by um, with your fingers. I, to start with, I would often use pieces of yarn or thread or whatever. This is pull cotton. Um, they're about 12 to 14 inches long. It gives you a short braid, but um, 24 inches is about the maximum you would want to use, two feet, because it, otherwise it can get tangly towards the end when you're braiding. All right, well, I'm going to wish you well, and I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you follow my other videos at Elizabeth Seward, author. Bye-bye for now.